Assalamualaikum um, We continue with chapter 8 Enabling the organization decision making There are three learning outcomes in chapter 8 Which is I had simplified the learning outcomes As compared to the textbook Learning outcome number 1 Describe three types of decision making information system Used in an organization Number two, explain four types of artificial intelligence or AI systems. And number three, describe three types of data mining analysis capabilities. Okay, learning outcome number one, uh, three types of decision making information system used in an organization. As we know now, a lot of data and information is actually go through the which is collected and captured by the by the organizations so what are the reason for the growth of decision making information system why an organization need to use a system in order for them to make their decisions reason number one of course because people need to analyze a large amount of information it is actually a lot in daily operation of the organization where data and information are captured and collected in the database so this huge amount of information and data create an opportunities for the organization to use this in order for them to make the decision number two because people must make decision quickly as we know by using system or technology it could make the decision is more faster as compared to the traditional way number three people must also apply sophisticated analysis techniques such as modeling, forecasting in order to make a good decisions. And number four, people also must protect the corporate asset of the organizational information because information system offer the security that required to ensure that the organization information remains safe in their database. So that are the four reasons why an organization must have system or technology in order for them to make their decisions. So here we are going to look into three types of different system that is actually used by the organization. Number one is transaction processing system TPS. Number two is the DSS decision support system and number three is EIS executive information system. So different system is actually used in a different level in the in the different level of the organizations as we can see from the figure analysts will use the tps because it was in the lower level of the organization when it comes to involve with the process and capturing of the data number two is the dss used by the manager which is the second level and number three is eis which is used by the executive which is the ceos so there you can see the difference of the system according to the user of the system in an organization. So as data move moving up towards the higher level of the of the organization, so it will simplify the data from the huge amount of data, process the data, and then come with a proper simplified data, which is mainly examples like reports so these reports will be used by the managers and executive in order for them to make decisions system number one transaction processing system tps is the basic business system that serves the operational level analysts in an organization so it consists of oltp online transaction processing process and online analytical processing olap so these two different system will capture the information and store the information, update existing information to reflect the new information. And then, and all of this information will be manipulated to create the business intelligence in order to support the strategic decision making of the organizations. System number two, decision support system, DSS, is actually used by managers models information to support managers and business professionals during the decision making process so under dss there are three different quantitative model used number one is sensitivity analysis 
the study of the impact that changes in one or more parts of the model have on the other parts of the model number two is what if analysis checks the impact of a change in an assumption on the proposed solution and number three is goal seeking analysis finds the input necessary to achieve a goal such as the desired level of output in this tutorial we will introduce you to the what if analysis in excel with what if analysis you can use several different sets of values in one or more formulas to explore all the various results over here let's suppose you want to borrow money the amount here is one million dollars the interest rate is five percent and the expected years to pay off is ten in the payment area let's put in the formula is equals to PMT brackets open D6 divided by 12 comma D7 multiplied by 12 comma D5 brackets close since the interest rate is on an annual basis it will be divided by 12 as we will be paying on a monthly basis now select the whole area and go to the data tab over there click on the what if analysis button and select the data table option move over to the column input cell option and click on the cell which has the expected years to pay off with that done click on the OK button now the calculation for all the scenarios will be done automatically you can check out the total amount if you pay back in one year five years ten years and so on so at the end of the process in DSS it will produce the report for the manager so manager will look into these reports in order to support their decision making and then proceed with the next system which is named as the EIS so what is EIS it is a specialized DSS that supports the senior level executive of an organization and most EIS offer these three types of capabilities consolidation which is involve the aggregation of information and features simple rolls up to complex groupings of interrelated information and number two drill down capabilities which is enable the seniors CEOs to get details of the details of the information that is mine by drill down go more and more specific and specific of the information and then slice and dice to look at the information at the different angle and at the different perspective one of the important features in EIS is the function of digital dashboard integrates all information from multiple components and present it in a unified display so by using digital dashboard it is more easier for the senior executive to really see the performance of the organization as a whole and also easy for them to make their decisions examples like by looking at the charts by looking at the graph by looking at the tables and the information is keep updating and changing every minutes or seconds in an organization so it's really give a real-time information and update information for the seniors executive